to 2019 here on the Pixel Biology channel with me. I'm back. I have finally returned. My birds have no idea what to do with the stranger who has suddenly just invaded their room. Uh, but I'm back. So I've been actually gone and away from home for over a month and it was amazing. It was really transformational and I'll probably ramble and ramble as I love to do on the vlog channel about why it was so transformational but basically I just spent a month not being Siri and it was scary and weird and really 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 good for me uh because man yeah, when you put down all of the things that you're familiar with and you go into new places and you try new things and you put yourself out there, it is so spooky and you feel so vulnerable. You're gonna be pecked off like some sort of little squirrel with a hawk circling overhead, but you find some amazing things. And I found some amazing things in the last month, my friends. I found a lot of connection. I found friends. I found what it really meant to walk hand in hand with the love of my life and I also found a wellspring, a beautiful, wonderful, refreshing wellspring that is nurturing my creativity and just like, it's like picking up the best magical spring water and sprinkling over a garden that you felt was drying out and you didn't know what to do. And all of a sudden exotic blooms just start bursting up from the ground like magic. And that's what I found in the last month. So thank you guys so much for your patience. I really sincerely thought I lugged across the country. I lugged my laptop and all of my recording gear, external hard drives. I had an entire suitcase dedicated to just the hardware to record while we were on our big adventure across the country visiting both of our families and many friends because we only get to see them like once or twice a year and before you knew it I never took that stuff out of the bag. I was too busy or too sick and then all of a sudden I was too inspired. There's some moments in life where you just have to dive into a experience and that's what I did. So I know that it was a lot of the same stuff over and over again on the channel for last month. Thank you guys for your patience. We do have almost 7,000 other adventures in the archives that you are always welcome to look at at your leisure. Open them up like a good book on a shelf. Use a random generator to plunk a random episode in front of your eyes if you ever feel lonely or bored or you just want to have something different from our community. I do that sometimes with my favorite channels and it's refreshing. I honestly feel like sometimes when I watch somebody's old stuff or read their old books that I'm learning a little bit more about them in a more intimate way than the new and polished self. So yeah, if you ever want to really feel like, what was Siri? Who was she? Years ago, then there's a lot of videos out there that have pieces of me that have since grown or changed or evolved into new things or are still the gosh darn same that you can see there. So it was just amazing to let go of everything for a while and it's amazing to be back. I am so happy to be back. And I am so happy to spook the heck out of my birds by being a stranger who just moved into their room from their perspective and to be back because I have so many adventures I want to tell you guys. <laughs> and really cool stuff to show you really really cool stuff to show you like i got a whole bunch of giraffes for christmas this is only the ones i could put in my bag we have boxes of christmas gifts which sounds more dramatic they're boxes because a couple of them are cookie sheets and they're kind of big <laughs> And a lot of books for Chips. Poor Chips. He's got to read a lot of books this year. But the word got out that I love giraffes. So we have a whole bunch of giraffe things that people have sent me uh, or have given me for Christmas. Family has given me for Christmas. Somebody in the family gave me a really cool cat bag that I wanted to show you guys that's created by a man named Jen who works out of Chicago or the Chicago area. And he handmade this bag with his cat Lily that he photoshops into the Chicago skyline and skylines across the world. I thought this was really cool, but I just had like fun actual adventures. We went geode cracking. We went to a man's house who is a uh, collector 
across the world of all sorts of mineral specimens and he buys geodes from the lava flow places uh, like Chihuahua, Mexico for instance is where we got all of the geodes we cracked and you have a mountain of geodes that you look at and you pick one out and then you crack it open and then you get to see what you picked and this is my personal one i have a huge one that looks like a glitter brain that i'm going to be showing you guys in a little bit too but i love my geode look at that i love the adventures so that's what i was up to whilst i was gone for a while and you guys were left with just a handful of things that i had frantically been able to prepare before we went and you guys are probably more curious about where we're going so i'm going to try to rein in my excitement and tell you guys about what I want to do for 2019 as Siri. Here, back in the pixel biology community, back in my wonderful green office. I, I can't believe my plants made it. I am so relieved. My, my broody babysitter is getting better at watering them, thank goodness. But you guys are probably curious about what the next year is going to be like here. What's gonna happen? Where are we going? What are we doing? So these are my goals for 2019 for the Pixel Biology channel. Goal number one is going to be opening all of the snail mail. Hmm. That's goal number one. After making a video letting you guys know I'm alive. <laughs> so yeah. I've got some boxes to open. You guys are probably going to see probably more than one snail mail video coming out pretty shortly, uh, focusing on whatever is hiding in there because I am so excited to find out what what all those things are. <laughs> and then uh, goal, the other goals are going to be kind of interesting because I'm sure a lot of you guys have been thinking about New Year's resolutions or goals that you have for the year. I wrote, not joking, about 3,500 words in my Evernote file related to upcoming goals that I have for both personal and professional habits. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I will not be sharing that much with you guys because that's way too much. I'm even trying to par it down a little bit. But I do have some goals and goals is the wrong word. I have some dreams for 2019 and the Pixel Biology channel. I have some dreams for this space, the place that you have just wandered into unknowingly surrounded by plants and a very giggly goose woman. And I wanted to share them with you because I think about our community every day, all day, like everything I do. I, I look outside, I looked outside this morning at the sky and it's this stunning shade of blue in January in Michigan, that's a miracle. But my first thought was that I wish I could take a picture and put it on Instagram and share how beautiful the sky is. And that's because whenever I see things that are beautiful, things that inspire me, things that make me happy, I want to share those moments of joy with others. I want to encourage you to take the blue sky and savor it and make it a moment of joy in your life. And I'm always coming up with stories. Just while doing the dishes this morning, I wrote half of a science fiction book in my head because I love telling stories. Creating is part of who I am. and. I am finally ready to have the dream of creating for my heart. And the last few years, as you guys know with YouTube, have been really bumpy. And they're still bumpy. But I'm kind of tired of letting my life, in fact I am tired, of letting my life be ruled by fear of an algorithm that no one understands. I am tired of letting my life be ruled by the comments of strangers who only seem to have mean things to say when they do comment at all. I'm tired of letting my life drift away from my own heart. And this trip, when day after day, somehow I didn't open up that bag and just get into the same old routine to record things, probably it was 21 days. And they say a habit takes 21 days to form. So for 21 days, I kind of just followed my heart. And I think that that's gonna be my habit now. <laughs> so my dreams, and I wrote them down so that I wouldn't forget to tell you all of them. My dreams as Siri, the pixel biologist, are first and foremost to create from my heart again. And that's not gonna be for everybody. So 
a lot of people are going to probably say, well, everyone's dream should be to create from their heart. Well, when your rent happens to be dependent upon the whims, and I'm just straightening you out, there you go. But when your rent is dependent on the whims of something you don't understand, something that no one seems to understand, imagine going to work every day and you have no idea what your boss wants from you, ever. You have no idea what, like, or this is a better, a much better uh, comparison because I'm my own boss basically with YouTube. But imagine that you are a, a performer, you're a, you are an actor on a stage, uh, you are a musician, you are a live artist where you paint your art in front of people uh, and that's, that's what you do, that's how you, you answer your heart, that's how you connect with people, that's how you find your community in this huge scary weird world of people whose hearts are just as green as yours, that's what you do. So you get up on the stage every day and imagine if you did that every single day and every time you got on the stage you had no idea what those people were there for. <laughs> imagine if you looked out on the stage and you were like, crap, what do they want from me? <laughs> and you knew keeping them keeping them there is how you you take care of yourself and your rent and how you try to share the the message of your heart with people but you don't know where they're even sitting there that's kind of how i felt for so long and when you add in all the other things like i mentioned the algorithm youtube etc 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 blah 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 you guys have probably watched so many drama videos about youtube is ending it is the death of youtubers and things like that um well I'm tired of the fear and I kind of just want to go and create from my heart which is a very spooky thing to do because to accept that that is my goal now my dream now I should say dream I don't want to say goal because I want to be able to adjust if I need to but my dream for 2019 is that I'm going to work very hard to create from my heart and interact with things that really resonate with me more. There may still be things that are really popular and so that's why I kind of like, okay, I can do this, I wanna do this, and I'll, I'll create some of those things too. But this is just important for me because um, any creator is gonna get burned out if they don't know the big reason why they're making things. And if the big and if you know the big reason, if your big reason is financial, if your big reason is to build a huge community or to be appealing to the largest group of people, then I think you'll be at peace with whatever you do. And for me, those goals aren't goals that resonate with me. I want to create a oasis of greenery. And that is my dream of 2019, is to create from my heart. And with that, I have to let go of the idea of having a lot of subscriber growth. I have to let go of the idea of living in a mansion in LA, which has never really been a goal, uh, unless I could have giraffes. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> but to accept creating from my heart in this climate, in this atmosphere, in this platform, means to let go of making the things most likely, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, that would result in subscriber growth and view growth and all of those things. But I think it's going to do my bigger purpose, which is to create a beautiful green oasis for people who want to be there. And when I, we were traveling, I really craved that. I wanted, at the end of the day, when I was tired or when I was feeling sick, to have somewhere I knew I could go that people were excited about the same things I am and they had a community and a culture even if I didn't feel like talking to anybody I just wanted to watch videos that maybe had something to do with positivity and greenery and and growing with challenges and I really wanted very long sims legacies <laughs> I really wanted that very badly but I couldn't really find those things and I think that that's why it's okay that I'm a creator because I'm going to create those things so this is very abstract for goals. I'm uh, sorry if many of you were clicking on this hoping to see uh, Siri reports the exact dates she shall finally play Wolf Quest because no, <laughs> that's not what I'm, I'm, I have unfortunately. These are more abstract dreams I have 
for this place in 2019 that I am putting down and saying out loud because it is so easy to become terrified as a YouTuber and bow like that to the whims of whatever gets the most views because you're so scared for your own well-being. And I'm gosh darn flip a giraffe tired of being so scared. I am flip a giraffe tired of being so caught up in, in the external things I can't even create that I don't even know what I'm creating anymore half the time. And that isn't to say I don't like it, it's just to say that I feel exhausted and distracted with the last two years of making things. You guys have seen it, I haven't been able to complete squat. And that's because you get paranoid, you get spooked. Uh, the algorithm just changed, your views dropped by so much. Are you going to die? Will you be on the streets? Can you eat next month? Who knows? I'm tired of that. And I am going to see what happens if I just have a dream of peace for 2019, of opting out of all of that and opting into being present and to being my own unique weird goose woman self and creating something that has life in it, creating something that has my heart in it, creating something where I feel like it's it's synced together. I'm not just going through the motions of doing a job, I am synced with my love of the natural world, my love of teaching it, my love of creating a safe place where we can talk about positivity, and I'm going to do that dream for 2019. And if I end up starving and eating ramen noodles by the end of it, I can readjust and create all the wolf quest you will ever want. <laughs> and that's a joke because I do love wolf quest. <laughs> but yeah, so, that's my, my my dream for 2019, and I'm really glad that rhymes so that I say the right date. When you get older, all the, the, the new years, it takes a little while to say the right things. But I do have some more specific things. So now that I've just kind of got that off my chest, uh, and I am gonna be upfront, when I choose, when anyone chooses to, to cater to themselves, I just have to accept that that's gonna turn some people away that I know a lot of people consider success on YouTube to be related to subscriber growth. And I think that's a very harmful myth that creates a lot of pressure on everybody involved that I'm checking out a window. If we grow, cool. If we don't, cool. Uh, neither of those things factor into being able to make a green place, an oasis. For everyone and on that note uh, the reason that I'm mentioning the, the Oasis and community so much is because I want to stream more I really do I I really got something special out of the Sims 4 uh, get famous streams that we did and it used to be that streaming had to come after all of these other things streaming doesn't make you any income because YouTube takes half of all donations if they're not through St stream labs will give a youtuber like almost the entire donation other than like a, a small fee but when people super chat then half immediately of the super chat goes to YouTube. So if you super chat 10 bucks, then the person you give it to only gets five. And then the person has to divide it by any of the other fees related. So usually if someone donates $10 on a stream, the YouTuber will actually end up after taxes and after fees with maybe 350 of that. So streams are not quite as, as uh, viable as a lot of people think and because I was thinking from what what is success and using external metrics before uh, that's why it stressed me to stream and then I had so much fun with our Sims 4 streams and then I remembered how much I want a place a community that can just be kind to each other and talk about nice things somewhere to speak about how much I love plants and greenery and that is why I want to stream. So you guys will be seeing more streams. I definitely will not be doing it for super chats because they, I feel like they're almost unfair to the people who super chat because they don't understand that more than half of what they're giving to that person isn't going to them. Streamlabs and like direct things too, just if you are into doing that, just be aware of that because I feel it's unfair that it's not more obvious for the people donating. Um, but for streams, I'm not really in it for that. I just want to be able to create a bubble 
uh, oasis bubble where we can sit together and talk about nice things and sip tea and some days will be hilarious and we'll be laughing so hard about all of the chaos that the patrons are doing and and people spamming emojis in the chat which i personally love because i think tiny little pictures the size of an itty bitty square are adorable um <laughs> some days will be like that some days may be just sitting and drinking some tea together some days we might lean on each other when things are hard and some days we might just have fun watching a story evolve. But I realized that nothing I've ever done, except those really good streams, has made me feel more connected with the big goal I have of sending out a message of joy and peace and loving the natural world in my own silly way. <laughs> so expect that. Um, and flexible streams too. I work best when I have a really flexible schedule and so instead of apologizing for that I'm just going to be like I have a dream. I have a dream of maybe three streams a week. What dates? Life life is organic like plants. <laughs> life is organic and free-range like plants so I don't know exactly when it's gonna happen but it will happen. And I have rambled quite a bit that's okay. I like rambling. I, I feel like I have I think about you guys all day long. I think about you all day. I think about how to take every good feeling I have in my life and share it with you all day. That's why I joy journal. That's why I post pictures on Instagram. That's why I vlog. That's why I think really hard about how I can try to be kind in most things that I do. And it doesn't always get through correctly, and I don't always live up to that goal. But I think about you guys all day, and that's why I ramble so much. <laughs> Trying to compress that down into like one little video is hard. But alright, that's why I wrote things down, so that I can try to stay on task. But to give you guys an idea of just what my dreams for 2019 would look like, it would be stuff like Daily Sims, being able to really see those stories and those legacies. There, There's a strong connection between my heart and my Sims stories because we are able to imagine and put ourselves in shoes of the people whose stories we read and to watch our little Sims with so much personality invested in each one go through challenges that we might face in our own life and to see how they might try to overcome them or to just watch how they build up happy little lives without using like cheats <laughs> i think that's inspiring i love sims legacies because they make me think about my own legacy and they just make me happy so i in my dream for 2019 i would have daily sims stretching across all of the different sims games from from four to three to two if i really was dreaming big and also animal crossing because i love animal crossing i have a whole animal crossing collection hiding somewhere down there it's like yeah you can't really see it because i had to move it but i have a whole animal crossing collection one of my big goals for the year is to complete my animal crossing card collection which i probably like i need to find where i put it first <laughs> <laughs> but Animal Crossing is going to have the new Switch game Animal Crossing come out for 2019 as well. So to build up for that, I would absolutely love to do regular Animal Crossing streams where we just have a cup of tea and we just are able to relax in that world where pretty much the only option other than throwing down a pitfall seed is to be kind to everyone. And I think that there's a lot of value in spending time in a place where all of the options that you want to make are kind ones. So that's why I love Animal Crossing as a game. Also, it has a lot of cute stuff to collect. I'm a little bit of a pack rat sometimes. And then also I want to tell the tales of many cats. Those are among my dreams for 2019. To go outside and to have some adventures with you guys out there. To show you some of the vlog footage that I have collected and then promptly stuffed into a file on my hard drive. Uh, of going to see sandhill cranes, of going on all of the different adventures that Chips and I went on last year, of even the adventures we went on to Hawaii like three years ago now. Can you believe that's been that long? Wow. And I do have new birdos that should hopefully theoretically be arriving now that mine are finally recovering from their terrible disease. So my dream is to also share them with you guys. And I also have a dream of going home to zoo crafting. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. But 
I have a dream of going home to zoo crafting properly and finally. And um, on that note, I just wanted to say the reason I'm, I'm saying dreams instead of goals is because I feel like we set these huge goals for ourselves at the beginning of every year sometimes. And the problem I feel is not that the goal may be so high or that it's challenging. I, or yeah, the problem isn't that you set big goals for yourself, even ones that seem like they truly are reaching for the stars. I think the problem that a lot of people face as the year goes on and they get frustrated with not meeting that goal is we forget we're not going to be the same person a year from now that we are today. We're going to change and we are going to grow and the person setting the goals today may make goals that don't fit the person we will be in a year. We're going to change and we're going to grow but some things will make remain the same and for me going home to zoo crafting is definitely one of them. Telling the tale of many cats is definitely one of them. Um, and then also I want to start completing some series and stories. You guys are probably going to notice pretty quickly that I'm going to change the way I'm doing things so that I feel like I can actually complete a series. Like from start to finish, finish something. And the reason I have been a, a serial player, with no pun intended, is because I have been trying to chase after all the things that I thought was good to chase after. All of the, the new releases or the games, and then I'm too exhausted and distracted. I couldn't remember what I was doing anymore. I couldn't keep track of my series anymore. I couldn't keep track of my stories anymore. It was too many things. And I have a new way to organize all of my stories and my series. I am also taking more time to just focus on creating something from start to finish or at least from a story arc point. So from starting a story and working until I completing that arc of the story rather than just looking at these slots on my calendar schedule and going ah and doing like five things. Imagine like if you had to write an essay and turn in a paper to a boss that has to, or to you like a professor that has to give you feedback every day before you can make the next one that's due the next day. Imagine writing five essays a day and those essays are due based off content from the previous day and you have five more essays tomorrow but you have to wait until you get commentary feedback on all of these essays to do the next essays eventually you're going to burn out and that's too much. So all of that rambling was to explain that's why I haven't it historically completed a lot of things or I've started really fun projects and then they poofed like right away. I've been trying so hard to keep up with everybody's request and and my expectations of what I'm supposed to do as a YouTuber and I have flopped on my face so many times. So my dream for 2019 is to have a sense of of balance in my life by actually completing some things. So I want to complete some of the stories, I want to complete some of the games, I want to be able to, when we do leave some series, because it's impossible to keep all of the series I want to keep active going at once, but if we did say step away from one of our Sims family for a month or two while we worked on a different project, I don't want to just stop cold turkey anymore. I want to go until we complete an arc and then begin something new. And I want to, for instance, go back to Stardew Valley this year. And I want one of my dreams of the year is to complete season three of Stardew Valley. Apparently there's a Stardew Valley update coming out at some point, Concerned Ape says, for the actual PC game again, uh, even though he said he'd never do it again. Now that he's recovering from his burnout, he wants to add more content to Stardew Valley, which is cool. But there is a, uh, my dream would be to complete Stardew Valley season three, which stopped cold turkey because I got overwhelmed with trying to keep up with the schedule and then to go and start Story of Seasons or Rune Factory or one of the Harvest Moons and to complete that, uh, if not entirely, then at least like a year of it and then go to another one of them. And that is kind of an example of what I hope I'll be able to do on the channel to no longer just drop everything that we're really into because I'm trying to do everything at once. <laughs> so yeah, this was, this was, this was good. This was good. I, 
I'm happy with everything I said. Uh, I'm happy with everything I rambled. A lot of that's gonna sound like behind the scenes stuff. It's gonna sound confusing. But guys, I just want you to know, I've been kind of quiet and confused and lost over the last couple years. And I'm still here. I'm one human. I am one person. And I am thrilled to be able to sit down and accept the consequences for just creating from my heart again and creating at a pace that is better for me and slowing down and spending time with you guys in streams and just that makes me so blissful to be able to to focus on how beautiful and fun and wonderful a game is for instance or an adventure we go on is or it's a beautiful day so i want to make a vlog sharing it with all of you rather than waking up and from the moment i woke up to the moment i go to sleep worrying about how can i please the biggest number of people how can i make the videos that get the most views is very freeing it may be a terrible idea that has me hungry by the end of the year but at some point you have to ask yourself why you work. And once you can meet the basics of like being able to have a safe place to be, Chips is very, very, very zen this way. And for years he has been encouraging me to think about why you work. And for me the answer is going to be to create from my heart. It sounds so self-indulgent to say in a culture like ours. It sounds, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds, all of these, these like, what are you doing? Think logically, think about growth, think strategically, think practically, just bubble up to my lips. But for years, Chips has been following his heart and doing hard things. He has kind of led the way in showing me that following your heart doesn't mean backing down from a big challenge. He's followed his heart into doing a PhD in one of the top three universities in the world for a very hard field that has required him to learn five languages in three years, which we're going to Japan soon because he can now fluently speak it in less than a year. <laughs> like what? But Chips has really showed me that if you are going to be involved in life, it's about how you choose to live every day, not just about what you achieve. And that you can achieve really, really big things with grace and joy and in sync with yourself if you are living in a way that follows your heart and that's really difficult to explain but those are my dreams now for 2019. I thought he was ridiculous, I thought he was self-indulgent, I thought he was being almost spoiled. I waited tentatively for the other shoe to drop in our life for years watching him turn down opportunities that he just really felt didn't didn't resonate with him watching him watching him grow and i just he chose the things that resonated with him and now he's going to be one of the best and i thought i had to choose the things that were externally measured as the important things to do and i got burned out and burned out and burned out so i'm going to try it his way for a year of peace this year and i think no matter what happens if i live every day in sync with myself and being able to share some authenticity and connect that way with people like i so deeply want to I won't have regrets no matter no matter if our sub count goes down or up no matter what happens i think we all need more people like chips in the world you know who lead with what really resonates in their life and i thought that that would mean that you would spoil yourself and watch tv all day 
and instead it means being able to show up to some of the biggest challenges and conquer them <laughs> completely while you're happy doing it and yeah so that is my dream for 2019 a year of peace a year of working from the heart a year of no longer feeling the intense crushing pressure that being a youtuber can offer up and just taking that that risk also completing more things from start to finish so this is a complete thing <laughs> I have now finally announced to all of you I am alive. Uh, I have announced to all of you my intentions and my dreams for 2019 without being specific about series because I don't know <laughs> the, the half the games that we're going to play, like three-fourths the games that we're going to play in the coming year haven't even been announced yet. So I really can't tell you guys <laughs> what we're going to do over the year other than my dreams of Sims and green community and Animal Crossing and just being able to take whatever else we pick up and play it through a complete story arc if not all the way just so we have a sense of resolution for like flipping a draft's sake <laughs> so thank you guys I'm so happy to see all of you again I need to make some tea and then prepare myself for the grand snail mail unboxing and I hope all of you have a wonderful year and just remember if you show up with your heart you will be able to take on the challenges that are big without beating yourself up while you climb the mountain. And it's not about, it's not about meeting external measures of success. It's about growing within. And I wish more people would just say that so I, I didn't sound like such a goose while I'm saying it, but it is, it is about growing within. So reevaluate your goals and be gentle with yourself. None of us are going to be the same person a year from now that we are today. So your goals may change, but I hope your dreams will grow with you. So I'll see you guys soon for many, many adventures. <laughs>